Hey guys, what's up? It's your friendly neighborhood Ubigus here, back again with another Enter the Gungeon video. That's right, I'm actually consciously choosing to play as the robot. You'll also notice that the game looks a little bit different. I've decided that I want to try out some higher quality visual settings and see if, uh, see if I can still record it a nice, smooth 60 FPS at 1080p. I don't know, we'll see. <laughs> My computer talked about this before. Pretty beefy. Not the beefiest. Uh, pretty beefy, though. So... This will basically be an experiment. Um, also, worth noting that uh, I will have to reacclimate to certain things because the the visual stimulus will be very ever so slightly different. So who knows? Anyway, I'm consciously choosing to play as the robot because um, I actually do believe that the robot might actually be good, <laughs> and I may have only convinced myself of this due to the fact that I have won two out of two robot runs that I've done on this save file. Whether or not that's a good reason to play as the robot, I don't know. But that's the reason I'm given, and that's what I'm going by. It's a lie. I do know, and I know that it's not a good reason. It is the worst possible kind of reasoning. Um, which, by the way, that that's one of the things that I personally find, like, most important. Uh, we're gonna get immediately pretty real in this video. So, one of the things that I always hear people talk about, right, is, like, you know, they, they'll base people, their perception of a, another person, strictly on an opinion that that person holds. Um, and this goes for literally any opinion at all, right? I mean the opinion that you hate, or the opinion that you hold that other people hate, right? All of the opinions, every one, right? That's a bad way to judge people, is their opinions, right? The best way to judge somebody is not on the opinion they hold, but how they reached the conclusion that has supplied them with this opinion. Example, if somebody says, I believe that gun laws should actually be more lenient than they currently are, don't go, you're fucking stupid and I hate you. Instead go, why do you believe that to be the case? Because here's the thing. One, you don't know their story, right? You don't know what they're what they're going through. You don't know what they've went through. You have no idea about anything about them, right? So when they say that, it's possible that it could be coming from a place where they genuinely need firearms and it's become difficult for them to have them. So ask them about it, right? That's part one is, again, you don't know you don't know who they are, you don't know where they've come from, you don't know what they're going through, all that sort of stuff, right? So step one is ask. And then the other nice thing about asking is that it also might educate you. <laughs> For example, I'm sure a lot of people who haven't actually looked into gun laws at all, who are talking about we need more strict gun laws, probably couldn't tell you, not even, not even, like, think about telling you what the restrictions of owning a firearm are in their own state, right? So asking somebody why they believe that they should be more lenient, for example, even if you disagree with this, which I would say probably most of you do, myself included, um, but you might learn about how it works where that person lives, or maybe even where you live, right? You might learn something. And you know what learning is? That's half the battle. That's what G.I. Joe taught me. I'm gonna break this chest as well. I don't fucking give a shit about chests. Also, junk makes me deal more damage. Because that's how the robot works, and I only recently found that out, but it's awesome. So you could learn something, right, about them. You could learn something about, you know, the laws in this case. About, about the subject, right? You could learn a lot of stuff. And learning is quite important. Also, it allows you to understand how that person specifically reached their conclusion, right? And you can identify good or bad reasons for it. For example, if somebody says, I think gun law should be more lenient, and you ask, why do you believe that? And they say, the libtards are trying to take my gun. Then go, that's fucking stupid, and that's a bad reason. And at that point, once you have identified poor reasoning, yeah, we're gonna blank, um, that's the point where you can actually... <laughs> where you can actually um, start to have a conversation about why they feel that way. Not what they feel, right? Who gives a shit what they feel? It's about why. That's, that's the important part. 
Because people's opinions can change. The way that they change their opinions doesn't necessarily change. Um, I do want Brick of Cash. I also want to go to the alt floor. I'm going to go Brick of Cash and, and roll some dice here. So, first of all, we're going to walk out of here and walk back in. Yeah, that's what I thought, motherfucker. Hey, let's go, dude! Alright, top tier. Top tier shit. There should be a water barrel somewhere in here. Somewhere in here. And indeed, there is. So yeah, basically, my point is, instead of immediately jumping on somebody for something that they say, ask them why they say that, and try and work from that point. Because you'll find out that you have more things in common with the people that you hate, based on their own feelings and opinions, um, than you think. As it turns out, we're all human, and go through a lot of similar shit. <laughs> so it's important to understand that they could be even, you know, they could be in, in a bad mental state, right? They could be in a bad place in the brain. And it's reasonable to try and understand that before you jump to conclusions about their opinion, about them being racist or sexist or whatever. Who cares, right? Like, you need to actually know something about them before you can even say that. Uh, I don't get how people can so quickly just be like, this person's racist. Now, do you know them? No, but they said this one thing one time, so they're racist. Like, eh, it's not really a good representation of them as a human. <laughs> you know, like, you took one quote, you know? If they back it up, if they, if they, you know, maybe double down, or if they give their own explanation for why, and, you know, you reach a point where it does indeed seem like they are racist, then maybe you can say that. But I would recommend not calling somebody racist just based on a quote. It's questionable at best. Scope has got to be good. I'm going to grab that right away. We got some sick accuracy. It's, I mean, our bullets are pretty much laser beams at this point without being actual laser beams, of course. Woo! That was a close one. I'm not going to lie to you. I, I thought that this frame rate would be much worse than it actually is. This game is like... I don't know. This game is weirdly optimized, where I have these, like, frame hitches that happen occasionally, but it seems like the actual visual vi video settings have like little to nothing to do with that. <laughs> but I guess that's kind of a good thing, right? Well, it's, it's kind of both a good and a bad thing. Like, in the sense that it's a good thing because, um... Okay. Uh, it's a good thing because... No little dancing boy. I wasn't even looking for him. I think I would have seen him in one of the previous rooms, though. Right? <laughs> um, so it's good because, like, oh, basically everybody can be on, you know, decent to good visual uh, settings, right? The game can look fucking nice. And they won't have to deal with the bullshit. But at the same time, it's like, I mean, I got... What is my graphics card? It's 1050 Ti. I would assume this game is more graphically intense. I don't think it would be hitching if it was CPU intense. Because I have uh, an i7 6700K. <laughs> 6700K? Something like that. It's a beefy fucking processor because I do this shit. I record and stream. And as it turns out, recording and streaming is pretty fucking CPU intense. Yeah, I expected to get hit. I'm a little disappointed of what specifically hit me. Woo! That's alright, we re immediately replace our Guan Stone, so I don't even care. Uh, and I guess we would have actually found the secret room there if there was one. But yeah, I, when, when building this computer, my thoughts were basically, well, for one, a lot of the games I play are pretty CPU intense. Um, included in that was... Uh, when I, when I was building the computer, it was when I was also playing a lot of World of Warcraft. World of Warcraft, if you don't know, incredibly CPU intense. If you got a good graphics card and World of Warcraft is playing bad, it's because it's CPU intense. <laughs> it, it barely gives a shit about your graphics card at all. Um, and that's that goes for basically all Blizzard games. And also for Valve games, although to be fair, Valve games are just generally, like, really fucking well optimized, so. But yeah, uh, streaming, streaming and recording, or rather, using a CPU encoder, as it turns out, is pretty CPU intense. 
Who could have possibly anticipated this? Okay. Right. I... Oh, you motherfucker. I thought that... Ugh, I thought that the one at the top was dead already. I'm actually pissed. I was paying so much attention to the one at the bottom, and I, I assumed the one at the top was dead. So I got fucking ganked, bro. Okay. I don't like this room. <laughs> this room makes me so uncomfortable. Fuck! I literally was a quarter of a step. One, like, frame-perfect input would have actually gotten me there. Fuck that. That's fucking dumb. Fuck you, bud. Right. I'm finally gonna open a box. This is, uh... I don't remember what this is. Magic bullets. Sufficiently... Sufficiently advanced. What the fuck are you? Yeah, yeah, stuff. Grants all bullets a small chance to trans transmogrify. That's pretty good. It's pretty fucking good. I'm gonna pop open this other box. Why did I do that? <laughs> I have to walk over that. <laughs> What's wrong with me? Yuck. I should have shot it. <laughs> should have blown it up. That's alright. Uh, alright, we're gonna use the Crescent Crossbow. At least a little bit. We'll see. Doesn't seem too good. This is the weirdest, sometimes difficult attack. Also, this is so bright! Who knew this game was so fucking bright? <laughs> Probably everybody. <laughs> Probably basically every other person who's played this game. near me again, please. No, 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 we're good, we're good, we're good. We're good. It's okay. So I don't know if the junk giving damage to the robot, I don't know if that is tied to his default weapon, or it's just a general thing, or what the dilio is. I should look that up pretty much right now. That's pretty good. I was, I thought, for a second I thought it was the armor synthesizer, and I was like, fuck yeah, but it wasn't. <laughs> it was not that, unfortunately. All right, where's my little dancing boy? He's gotta be around here somewhere. Not in here. Nope. It's not in the shop, right? Couldn't miss him in the shop. No, of course not. Not in here? Nope. You know, he could be in this room. No, because I took a hit in this room, so he shouldn't, it shouldn't be possible for him to be in this room. This room, though, maybe. This is a big damn room. Be easy enough to miss him in here. He doesn't appear to be in that room. Okay. How about this room? No. I probably didn't go all the way to the top in this room. It's not there either, though. Did I check all the little nooks and crannies? The crooks and nannies? It's also possible that there's no secret room. That seems very rare, though, to be fair. Is he in this room? Can he be in this room? I got hit in this room. There's no way he's in that room. Is he in one of the item rooms that I wasn't paying attention at all? He wasn't in this one. No. Is he probably not in this one either. Let me just double check. No. Okay. So he could be in one of these two rooms. I actually didn't even like check in the crest room, so we'll see. He's not. Really? Really? He's not in this room. So is it- I guess there just isn't one on this floor. I just looked in every room except, I guess, this big one? He might be in this room. 
Hope he's in this room. Really? Do I not have a secret room on this floor? Huh. Really? <laughs> Is he like hiding in this room? No, I don't see him. Alright, I mean if I if I did if I did see him and you know, I somehow didn't notice that it was him. My bad. <laughs> but I just about checked every single room right now. It's just one more one more quick sweep. Yeah, I mean not in the shop. Alright, whatever. I'll just pop a blank here. Just Yeah, okay. Peace out. Man, this is fucking weird. <laughs> I think I might go to the alt floor. Uh the second one. Let me actually hear it. I'm gonna look up the thing. Um junk. Enter the gungeon. Junk. Uh increase the damage of trash cannon by twenty five percent. Um when play as the robot, each piece of junk increases damage by a permanent additive 5%. The damage increases increase persists no matter what happens to the junk. Good to know. So it's 5%, not 10%. Definitely, definitely a different number. Um, easy. Dude. That chicken is so tanky. Um, also interesting that it persists. It just perfectly persists. You motherfucker! Holy sh! Ooh! I wasn't having it, dude. So, uh, in case you're wondering what that means, like no matter what happens to the junk, you can sell junk to the the store creep or whatever he's fucking called. I think it's the creep, right? The dude who just, he's a, I mean, he is a creep. So that'd be a perfect name. The little dude who's just like, under bars, just creeping his little head up. And he's like, do you have wares? I buy, or something like that. Ooh! Maybe. Do I have to, no, I don't even lose the junk for it. Cause that just gave me an armor. Pretty sure it's just armor for that. Peace out for a sec. Wait till for, wait for them to time out. Um, that's pretty nice. Uh, wait, isn't there? Is there no mention of the event thing? It doesn't look like it. The the thing that I just did the shrine. Seems like there's no mention of it on the junk page. Okay. All right, perfect. So we get to deposit our thing. I will not go down to that floor yet. This is an awful, awful floor so far though, to be fair. I mean, it's nice to get a key drop. I like that, but you have to notice that uh, there's not a whole lot of teleport pads currently. I won't hit them, right? Because they're fucking floating and shit. Mm, be a little careful. Okay. Fuck tables. There's a teleport pad. Uh oh. I got him turned into a chicken. I'm pretty sure he was about to die as well in that number of bullets. Also, the shop is behind a lock or a key key door. That's also known as, you know, it has a lock on it. Uh, which is really unfortunate because that means I pretty much have to pick up that key. Before opening the shop. Which is really unfortunate because I did also want to buy a key. Um, I think what that basically means is I'll wait to open the shop until I'm basically done with the floor. Uh, and if I don't get a bonus key, then I just won't open the shop. This is a nightmare. I don't know why I'm still fighting this. Okay. <laughs> like, I'm, I'm still in the same spot right now. Seems questionable. Alright, two keys. That's fine. Um, let's just go grab the other one. 
and then go to our shop. Because now with two keys, I'm much more incentivized to open up the shop. Because then, I have one key remaining for my pick of the best of the two chests. Um, obviously, there's a green already, which has got to be pretty good. Angry Bullets. I'm buying that shit. And there's no key for sale, which sucks. Angry Bullets is good, though. Okay. <laughs> alright, 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 alright. All right. We're good, we're good, we're good. It's fine. I will say, though, the veteran shotgunner is one of the most horrifying enemies that they've ever added to this fucking game. What is... What the fuck? How did... Okay, how did I roll over that? Because I landed the roll prior to the edge. And I, I... I've tested before. You can't roll over if you land prior to the edge. So it must have been, like, pixel perfect or something. <laughs> like, that's... There's a certain room in the mines that, you know, at some point we'll probably come across. Um, it's the one that starts with the two floaty laser boys, and there's the gap that you have to get over, and then the letter I, and then the second wave is two bullet can and two frogs. You know the room. In that room, if you could fall off mid-roll, then that room would be, I don't know, impossible to do without taking damage, because the second of the two vertical thingamajigs, right before you get to the eye going from left to right, um, is too thin. Like, you're guaranteed to be in the rolling animation running up against the edge. So, I don't know, man. I'm pretty sure I shouldn't have gone in that pit. Now, did I panic? And did my panic cause me to take two damage? Yes, that is. those are true statements. Absolutely. But, it also is bullshit, so fuck you. Oh, fuck. Alright. I'm gonna break this green chest. We got junk. I'm down with that. I'm gonna open this green chest. I hate it. I regret everything. I'm gonna break that green chest. Also, look at this fucking trek I have to go on. This journey. This is ridiculous. This is this is the actual closest teleport pet. Actually, that's not true. I think. No, I think that was technically. Yeah, I think that is actually the closest. All right. Well, I mean, I'm. I don't have another key, so I'm shooting to break this. Also, I've made potentially a horrific mistake. Another junk is actually nice. Um, but now that I think about it, I think this is actually a, a wonderful decision. Actually, no, we'll we'll just keep going like this and maybe mix in some flare gun or something. Oh god, my brain broke for a second. I, for some reason, uh, when I was trying to swap guns, in my brain, that was spacebar. <laughs> and I don't really- Oh my god. I have never gotten fucked by ammo conda. By a single ammo conda hit. Worse than that one. That one- that one takes the fucking cake, dude. Come on! Alright, maybe that's second place, dude. This is a fucking awful nightmare. This is a nightmare. I hate Ammo Conda. I've always hated Ammo Conda. I will never not hate Ammo Conda. It's the worst fucking fight in the game. I'll take remote bullets. I'll take it. Double check. Make sure there's not a second secret room. There's not. There might not be able to be a second secret room. I may have been lied to. Because I've literally never seen a second secret room on the floor. Either way, I'm gonna make the world's greatest mistake and go down to the chamber of the first gun. Abbey of the True Gun. Same thing. Honestly, I think the one I said is a cooler name. I'm not being incredibly truthful when I say that, um, despite beginning it with honestly. Uh, it's worth noting that not everything that you hear on the internet is true. Look for a little dancing boy the whole way. You motherfuckers, dude! 
How was I supposed to deal with that? That's not possible. It's not possible to do that without ta taking damage. I don't give a shit what you're using. Even BSG would have fucking taken damage there. That's actually really fucking stupid. I'm, I'm pretty pissed. It's fine though, because we are we're back to starting health, so it's not like I'm dying, but back to starting health is not something that you like to say as a descriptor of your your robot run. It's one of those things where it's like, yeah, technically we're fine, but like also simultaneously we're fucked. And this is a nightmare. That's fine, I'll just pick up the key. Forgot how invincible chickens were. You can just walk over chickens, though, is the thing, so they're not actually invincible. The good news about the robot, though, at the very least, right? And this is obviously, like, we're, we're grasping at straws here. Um, <laughs> is that jammed enemies don't actually hurt twice as bad as regular. <laughs> True, dude. A bit, is this? I mean, like, I don't. How much curse do I have? Zero, I think. <laughs> I was about to say, like, is this? Are these just spawns? Like, is this just standard in this place? Because I don't remember this. But until I started this series, it had been a while, so. Uh, it's possible that in the two times the fucking dose. Oh yeah, this dude. What do you fucking do? Brother Albert, knower of several truths. If thou seekst to open mine truth my mine truth chest, then ponder mine question thusly. What number am I thinking of? This is bullshit and you know it. But it's obviously nine. <laughs> Barely, it must be so. Received thy reward, O truthful hero. Nice. Oh. Okay. So, see ya. Man. Well. <laughs> um, should I find the other chest before popping this open? Before trying to pop this open? I think so. It's possible the other chest is way better. Do I have curse? What do I have that gives curse? Hello, it's a shop. Mm, you do not have a gun for sale, or a key for sale. You do have a gun for sale. It's not a gun I want, though. You also have two armor, which I'm likely to take. Fuck you, chicken, and fuck you too, chicken. Chicken fucks. second here. There we go. Thank you. Thank you for becoming a chicken. Appreciate that a lot. Okay, well that, I, I would not have ever guessed that. I would have guessed that that was the way to the exit, or wait, not to the exit, to the fucking other thing, like, a hundred percent of the time, is what I, how I would have. This is bullshit! How do you do that room? Alright, fuck it. I don't see that room enough to ever actually have come up with a strategy for it. Every other trap room... I mean, basically every trap room in the game except for the ones on the, this goddamn floor. I have a strategy for it. And I stick to it, and it works most of the time. God damn it. I've lost two health to fucking trap rooms on this run so far. That's really bad. I'm actually pretty upset with myself. Oh, that's how the robot works, man. Uh, I need items! <laughs> Where's my goddamn items, dude? Look at this shit! I mean, I have a few items. They're not bad. But, like, I need more, please? 
I guess at the same time, though, it's kind of nice to pick up guns on the floor to make it so there's at least, you know, a chance to not get a gun on the boss fight. Because I don't want a gun from the boss fight. So, like, I'm kind of okay with it, but simultaneously I fucking hate it. I guess, no, I, sh I should see if I get a key from the boss first, right? And I should probably just buy... Yeah, just buy two armor. Get real fucking tanky. Okay, boss time. I don't have a good bossing gun. Uh, I guess heck blaster and then occasionally flare gun seems fine. Oh yeah, this is just a one time you shoot. Or you just hold the button. Well, that's that's damage. Obviously. Oh come the fuck on. No, you know that's bullshit. You you know. You fucking know. This fight sucks. What the f- Okay, alright. No, no, I mean, I'm fucked, is the thing. Like, I'm just fucked. I don't have a real gun. I have no items to carry me. And I'm fighting the worst, hardest boss in the entire game. The heck blaster doesn't even fucking reach him over there. Like, what do I fucking use? This shit? How? How was it there? No, 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 no. How was it there? No, 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 no. How was it there? How was that the location of the fucking thing? Oh, you motherfucker. You're the worst boss in this game. You're actually just... How did that not hit me? I've gotten hit by way worse shit. I give up. Fuck this stupid fucking game. God damn it. I had a streak. I lost the streak on the robot because I got cocky and I was like, I'm going to play the robot. But also simultaneously, look at these fucking items. <laughs> I actually think I might have gotten the worst set of items I've ever gotten in my entire life. I think this might be the single worst set of items possible in this game by this point. And that, that's... That's impressive, man. That's fucking impressive. Like, look at this shit! I mean, I had 20% damage. Didn't matter, because guess what guns I had? Nothing. <laughs> like, I don't even understand how I'm supposed to utilize these guns to kill anything. Um, I think my best gun was either Heck Blaster or the, or the Star Crossbow. And neither did anything to the Old King at all. So, <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm, I was just kind of fucked. Honestly. Also, I think the Old King is complete bullshit. I, I genuinely don't believe that that boss should have gotten past testing, but... You know, it is an alt floor. You'd never, you're never forced to fight him. So, that's my bad. But simultaneously, I feel like you should make it in such a way that, I don't know, it's possible to kill him without having an overpowered setup. I think that would be a little bit nicer than the current setup, or the current way it is. Anyway, so sorry for the shorter video. I mean, I am going to cut it here. I don't have time to do yet another run on top of this. So I'm sorry for that. But thank you for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this video anyway. And I'll see you guys in the next one.